Hello guys and welcome to my channel. So today we will cover a, another lightweight distribution. Last week we covered the Ubuntu LXQT. Today we'll cover Fedora 40 LXQT spin. We will cover them. We'll check also some of the differences and which one you can choose for your system. So here we already included the ISO for the system and we have here the install to hard drive. So we click that for the installation. I'll press execute, yes. So this is the Anaconda installer. It's not uh, fancy like the Calamaris, but it does the job. Uh, of course, in Fedora 41, there will be a huge update for this Anaconda installer, but for now, we will, uh, we will stick to this one. So we'll press continue. So we finished the localization. It gives me the keyboard English and also the time and date. So if you want to change them before, you can do them from here, the localization. The next thing is we need to cover is the installation destination and then later on the user setting. So let's go with the installation destination. We can, we have one disk. You have to make sure which disk you are using. We can go automatic or advanced. Let us go for automatic this time. Click done. So automatic are partitioning selected. We'll go here for the root account. Let us first uh, go with the user creation. Let me put Fedora 40. If you want, we'll put a very simple password for now. Later we can change it. Click done two times because it is a not a good password. And here for the root account, also we need to enable a root account. Let us put also here another password. So we have finished the localization. We have finished the system. We have finished the user setting. We will start now with the installation. Let it finish the installation and I will come back when it's finished. So installation is finished. We are already logged in. And if you notice here, we have all the programs that are installed in this LXQT Fedora 40 spin. We have Enki. Enki is a uh, editor. It's better. I, I preferred to use Featherpad or any other uh, things, but Enki is fine if you need an editor. Just to note that Lubuntu 24 doesn't have any editor except Vim. So if you don't know Vim, you have uh, to have some problems or you need to install another other than Vim. There's also the PCMan FM Qt file manager. I don't really like the Qt version, but because it is a LXQt, they already installed this PCMan FM Qt. Let us continue. We have the internet. We have Falcon, which is good. So they should have installed Falcon in Lubuntu. So it's very easy to use. Uh, if you want to install uh, the, the programs that I already included in uh, on, on my website link, you can uh, directly through Falcon without installing anything. Just go to the website and start with the installation. Just to give you a brief uh, understanding of uh, this uh, all this uh, setup that we are going to do, First, we need to have some uh, DNF optimization. You have to install this one in, on the terminal so that you will have better uh, installation and speed. There's also the update, RPM Fusion, if you need to have something with the multimedia and some other software like uh, OBS or VLC and any others, you need the RPM Fusion, especially also for the multimedia. Also the hardware accelerated codecs is also from the RPM Fusion Nvidia drivers also the same. And here I included all the programs that I have uh, gathered throughout my years in Linux. So directly uh, all the old and all the, every system I have, I already installed all of this uh, uh, applications which I use. This is the application if I want to install uh, RAR. This is uh, also the website in order to install it. Yeah, it doesn't have the latest version. So if you want to install the latest version, you can use this uh, this way. Ferry is very important if you want to uh, have access to other software. Maybe you want to install Brave. Maybe you want to install Microsoft uh, 
Microsoft uh, fonts and many other, uh, many, many other uh, applications, maybe TeamViewer, all of these, you can go and install Fedi and directly when you run Fedi, you'll have all the applications that you can install. Qt Cap is, uh, I use it for uh, getting some uh, screenshots from websites, Escape also, Font Manager. If you need the latest one for Sherry 3 because Fedora doesn't come with the latest one, you can install it through uh, Copper. VirtualBox is a headache in Fedora, but this is an easy way if you want to install VirtualBox in Fedora. These are the steps so that you will have minimal problems, but you will face problems most probably, but this is a, uh, a way in order to install it without uh, much problems. Here, if you want to install Wine, you can directly go to the repo for the Wine and you can install Wine. Same for G Gported, Kanata is, uh, is another keyboard uh, shortcuts like uh, SXHQKD. Photoflare, I always use it. It's very useful as an editor for the photos. And of course, OBS Studio, there are many uh, ideas how we can install it from source, from Flatpak, and from the others. And there is uh, Sozi if you want to install it also. So this web uh, web link will give you all the information. All, way, all you have to do is go to the terminal, put copy, press here, copy the copy it and put it in in the terminal and you are done. That's for the application. Let us continue first. What, uh, what do we have? We have transmission for the torrents, screensaver, programming also, sound, not much. There is the terminal, preferences LXQT, very, very minimal. But of course, if you want to install anything, you can directly go to the terminal and install it. Uh, for the desktop preferences and for the backgrounds, there's not much, only they, they have these you can choose which one you like. There are not many. Let us check this one, for example. Apply. This is nice. It looks like Windows XP. And uh, let us uh, continue first also with uh, how much space. It is using around 3 gigabyte. As comparison to Lubuntu, it is using 4 GB. Lubuntu is using 4 GB as compared to this one, 3 GB. So it's much less. But as for the uh, memory, let us go for top. Uh, it is using around 777 MB. That's including the DNF Dragora, which is always present. If you don't like it, this one is always updated for the software that need to upgrade it all the time. So if you don't like it, you can disable it from the startup. And there's many others. As compared to Lubuntu, we were running around 490. So there is a difference of 200 megabytes with the same desktop environment, which is LXQT. That's for Fedora 40. I like it. There is not much. We are waiting for Fedora 41 to come with the DNF 5 and many other improvements for the Anaconda installer. But till, till now we have this uh, Fedora 40, a lucky, a lovely number, which I like. That's it folks, and we'll back with another video.